Hello everyone, my name is Amparo Lopez and I am professor at Hydraulic and Environmental Engineering Department at Universitat Politecnica de Valencia. Today we will be speaking about axial pumps in hydraulic systems. So we will know when we finish to understand the principles of axial pump behavior and to identify particularly axial pumps among any other sort of hydraulic pumps and their particular applications. So what we will be speaking about the importance of pump in hydraulic systems, particularly hydraulic machines classification and axial pumps related to their morphology and finally the conclusions. So why do we need pumps in pressurized systems? We need pumps because pressurized systems are a network of pipes, valves, reservoirs together, etc., to bring water from a source point into some con consumption points in different several points. So we need pumps because we need to propose energy to the system and we need to give flow and pressure. To do so, we must transform the energy coming from a motor in terms of hydraulic energy of flow and pressure. So to preserve the conditions, we need these machines. So the movement of clear water or even wastewater treatment waters are based on pumpings because we need to ensure in any case or any difference of head this flow and this difference of pressure. So the only way to get this is with a particular machine. Hydraulic machines are volumetric displacement machines or turbo hydraulic machines. We are not speaking about volumetric because they have several volumes, confined volumes going here and there and they don't have uh, some, they do not have an impeller. We are speaking about turbo hydraulic machines who have an impeller. The pulse, the impulse is given by an impeller introducing motion in the system. When we pass the energy from hydraulic to mechanical, we are used turbines. And when we pass the energy between mechanical into hydraulic, we use pumps. So we are speaking about pumps, particularly axial pumps. We have several distributions of pumps, classifications, and we are speaking particularly about these axial pumps in which, in this case, the flow comes in the same direction of the axis and goes out the machine in the same direction of the axis because this is the way in which the impeller is designed. In this case, these are called axial pumps. So we have this machine in the middle in which the flow comes in the same direction of the axis and goes at exactly the same. If not, we will have centrifugal when the angle is 90 degree or diagonal where the angle is a different one in between 90 and 180. So the morphology makes, in this case, the machine, the main impeller it hears, makes possible the flow comes into the machine across the entrance of the axis and going out of the machine in the same direction of the impeller. Of course, the impeller must be in the middle, given impulse to the system. And this is the morphology of this sort of machines. These machines are used in general to propose big flows because they have a big capability to move the fluid. So they have not very high heads and yes, very high flows. So they are more or less in this sort, in the considering flow versus pressure, low pressure and big flows. And they are used in a very wide range of application with clean and dirty waters or other fluids. 
more or less, this can be the curve or the way in which the curve of the machine can be present. This is a particular one. To conclude, we have presented the axial pumps. They are machines with a wide range of applications, in general with big flows and small heads. These machines have a wide range of sizes and they can be used in several types of pumping station with clean waste waters or any other sort of fluids. I hope it was interesting. Thank you very much.